Hey everyone, Cap from TCG Break here, bringing you my updated wind-up deck profile uh, post-December 2020 ban list. Um, the deck hasn't changed that much, but uh, since Link Ross was banned, we had to update the deck a little bit. Um, it's still a really fun deck to play. So for the wind-up lineup, still the same. Three Rat, probably one of your best wind-ups, allowing you to just tilt it to defense. Targeting a wind up in your grave, special summon something back. We also have three magician. This combos very well with the shark, which we also play three of. So most of the time, if you have these two in hand, you normal summon magician, special summon shark with its effect, and then activate magician's effect, bring out another magician, and so on and so forth. Still playing the two wind-up kitten. This is great to bring off of the next card, which is your rescue cat. This uh, allows you to special summon uh, by sending this to the graveyard. Um, you can special summon most of the time. I special summon a kitten and a rat. Um, and if you have factory, you can still activate the kitten effect, even though it's negated, and still get that um, factory effect. For hand trap lineup. Play three Effect Veiler. And three Ash Blossom. As well as, new addition here, three Artifact Lancia. This allows us to sort of have a form of protection against dinosaurs. Um, because we don't play a lot of Link Monsters on the end board. Um, so UCT can just flip all of our monsters face down. Uh, so Lancia prevents them from starting their combo by banishing their misc. Um, and I think this is a really good staple to have now in this format. Continuing onward here, we have Despot 001, Recover, as well as Researcher. And then of course the one brick that we play, um, since we don't have Link Ross, instead of playing the Plague Spreader, uh, we are going to play Despot and Coltwing, and we're going to substitute that Link Ross for the Auroradon. And of course, we're still playing Researcher because it's easy to bring off of Gallant Granite. Onto the spells here. We have two Double Summon. Again, this deck's very Normal Summon Reliant. Um, so if they hit your first Normal Summon, maybe you can go through Double Summon and get another one. Playing two wind up factory. I've cut this down to two just to make uh, room for the additional Colt Wing. Um, and also, it's great to have in your starting hand, but you can always pull it off of Zen Maintenance. Also, play two World Le Legacy Succession. Um, this is great. I would keep it at two because uh, sometimes you can't quite get into those link monsters immediately and this is a dead card in your hand uh, but other times once your combo starts it's really great to have bring back a rat and then just get another free uh, wind up from your grave play the one pot of avarice especially in this format uh, it's great to recycle your resources back from your graveyard and i played two desires i think three is a little bit bricky um if I was playing the Summoner Monk, like in the previous list, I'd probably play three, um, because if you draw two and a Summoner Monk, you can obviously use one and then discard the other one with Summoner Monk. The one Monster Reborn, we have cut the Foolish Burial, and three Imperm. Still very good um, in the format, just nice to have a trap interruption if they try to Dark Ruler you or something like that. Continuing on with the extra deck, we've changed it up a little bit. We uh, cut the um, Metal Marcher as well as the Formula Synchron and the Link Ross. In their place, um, we put the Crystron Quandax. This is great to bring off of uh, Crystron Hockey Fibrax. Uh, you can Quick Effect Banish itself and then bring this out and then Quick Effect Synchro using this and another monster you control. Um, still have the Herald of the Arc Light. Cypress Quantum is a really great one to bring off of your when you're doing the Auroradon plays. Um, most of the time you can end on a board with Auroradon, Quantum, Herald, 
and maybe even Savage if you leave uh, Halky Fibrax on the field. Since Zen Maintenance is a um, machine monster, you can use Zen Maintenance instead of the Crystron Halky Fibrax to go into your Aurora with them. And of course the one Borload Savage. Going into the XYZs, we have Toad. Again, we can cheat this out with Bahamut Shark. Gallant Granite to bring out your Researcher. And then Zeus. So if we ever leave any of our Xyz on the field, we can just overlay if we attack into the Zeus. And off to Lynx, Haki Fibrax, Sun Maintenance, and Aurorodon. Again, you can bring uh, Aurorodon out using the Zen Maintenance. Um, so you can leave Haki Fibrax on the field, which gives you another body on your opponent's turn to quick effect Synchro using him. Bring out that Quandax as well. And then continuing on, just same OTK package. So we have the Selene, obviously using the Halka Fibrax, bring out Effect Veiler, go into Selene, Selene Effect, bring it back, and then go into Access Code. And the other one, we just have Apoloza for Negates, as well as Saryuja, just to draw into more cards, continue your, your plays further extending. And side deck. This has changed up uh, quite a bit. Uh, we still have three Droll and Lockbird. This is great because Dragon Link really didn't get hit. They hit Link Ross, but they can still bring out like VFD, um, the Trishula Fusion, that sort of thing. So stopping them from adding stuff off of Wyber Burster or uh, Collapse Serpent or Chaos Space, anything like that, it's really great to have. Back row removal to Cosmic and the Harpy's Feather Duster. This is a new one as we move to more of a mid-range format. I think this is a great card to have. Three Shared Ride. You should really pick up your copies of this. Um, you can get them for pretty cheap. Again, this is just great to sort of piggyback off of your opponent's plays. Dinosaurs are really prevalent still, so I bumped the Imperial Ironwall up to three. So they can't banish their misc. And then there can be only one as well. This can really hurt Dragon Link. This can hurt Drytrons. Um, and it can hurt Dinosaurs. Overall, I'm really enjoying this list. Uh, there are a few hands that are a little bit bricky. Um, but I've tried to compensate for that by adding more hand traps. So we have 12 in total uh, with the three Imperm, three uh, uh, Lancia, three Ash, and three Valor. So again, this has been my wind-up deck profile for the updated 2020 uh, ban list format. Um, I hope you enjoyed, um, and I hope to have a live duel of this here soon uploaded. Um, feel free to give us a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.